The road to Tokyo has had many challenges for athletes with the pandemic impacting training and putting the Olympics off an entire year. Yeah, and for one local swimmer, making the team came after one of the worst moments of her life. Devin is back with Annie Laser's journey to Tokyo. So true, Kimberly. It was one of the best moments of this year's Olympic trials that night in Omaha. Annie Laser winning the 200 meter breaststroke to make her first Olympic team. But the swim came with a heavy heart as Annie had lost her father this spring, meaning the worst and best days of her life were just seven weeks apart. Behind every stroke of a winning race, there are, of course, miles of water. The lead belongs to Laser in lane five as they turn for home. One practice after another, lap after pre-dawn lap. Laser makes Team USA. When you're 26 years old and that final winning lap is the one that puts you onto your first Olympic team, you can expect a pool party. The 26-year-old from Beverly Hills, Michigan, Annie Laser swimming with so much purpose. While I was fully confident in myself that I was going to do it and I was going to make the team and I'd prepared myself to do that, um, when it happens, um, nothing really prepares you for that moment of like 20 years of culmination of work. All true and yet not quite the full story as Annie's mom Stacy knows so well. It just felt like a gauntlet of challenges to overcome um, obviously, we never really anticipated that we'd um, be dealing with such a profound loss in our family. Most Olympians have an army behind them, and for Annie, that includes not just her mom, but her dad Dave, who died suddenly in April. And Team Laser was in shock. I thought about that moment a lot, um, especially what it would be like, you know, like walking out and seeing my family and not seeing my dad there. Um, that was something that I really had to prepare myself for. There was so much coverage um, of Dave's death that um, it's really good to have an opportunity to talk about his life because he was, I mean, as much as Annie is a gifted athlete, Dave Laser was a gifted father. He never cared about you know, my results um, for himself. He cared about them because I cared about them. And that is just something that was so remarkable. And he was only in it because my heart was in it. And had been for a long time. Now, 26 is hardly over the hill, but in the pool? To be honest, it's getting up there. And here came COVID putting the games on ice for a year. When the you know pandemic happened, I just posted the fastest time in the world that year, the weekend before, and then everything shut down. One more year is not so much in the favor of a 25-year-old than it is in favor of some 15-year-old out there. So um, we just really you know prayed that she would just hang on. They did this together every single day and watch you come into the wall. But after each setback, Annie did what she's always done. The only thing she could do, she just kept swimming. And that involved the last ingredient you can't miss from that one-two finish. Her teammate, training partner, and fellow Olympian, Lily King. To be able to physically get the job done with her um, in, in our best, best events, I mean, um, you couldn't write a better story than that, honestly. Well, the Olympics kind of specialize in that, don't they? Annie is grateful to all of her teammates for getting her through this time. She shared this picture of them swimming in a pond when all the pools were closed uh, during the lockdown. Laser is in Hawaii right now for the Olympic swim team camp before heading to Tokyo to compete. Part of that Michigan legacy in the Olympic pool that we have all come to love and cheer on.